Let's take a look at Verge Crypto and have a look at some key statistics and some price analysis. So hello and welcome to Operation Crypto and welcome to today's video. Please make sure you do like this video and subscribe to my channel to be notified we're going to be pushing out new content. So in today's video we're going to do some price analysis on Verge. We will have a look at some key stats and see what's gone in her past and then we'll jump out to the charts and have a look at where you could potentially get some good investment opportunities and where the price could go in the the mid to short term so but also please make sure you do uh, follow all my socials all the links are in the description below and let's get cracking so as ever we will start off on coin market cap and we'll run over some of uh, the key stats of the project so verge which is ticker xvg is currently ranked 117 out of all cryptos that are listed on coin market cap today we have a coin price of 0.0 zero zero four four two seven dollars uh we are currently two percent down on today's trading we have a maximum supply of 16.5 billion coins and out of those in circulation we pretty much have them all there so 16.3 billion we have a 24 hour volume of 1.4 million dollars and today's market cap which is the what date are we on 13th of october 2020 is 72.4 million dollars so we are still we have a, a decent market cap behind you to consider where we've been in the past i mean look at that chart there it's absolutely insane we was very very low boom straight up and then it's on it been on a decline ever since some all-time highs which was if you just look here the all-time highs was around 30 cent and that was pretty much midway through that crazy bull run we had in 2017 we um from around october november we shot up and then a lot of coins hit raw time highs in december of that january 2018 and ever since then it's been absolutely dog shit across the board and everything's pretty much dumped but i think we're coming towards the end of a, a solid three or four year bull, uh, bear market now so i think we should be expecting to see some bulls return we have had um, a good rise since march but we'll look at that in the charts in a minute just to look where we're trading on market pairs as you can see, Binance is pretty much one of the top ones there, getting 21% of the entire market volume traded on Binance against BTC. Hit BTC is getting a fair bit and BitX Live. I've never heard of Exchange, uh, to be honest, but we are listed on quite a few exchanges. If you just scroll down, we have 51 recognized pairs of Verge. So it is a widely traded coin. And as you can see, we're already getting $1.4 million worth of trading. It's not the best, but. It is, it is fairly decent. Just to let you know, this coin in the past did something like a 1.5 million percent price raise from late 2016 all the way up to our all-time high in in 2017 of December. So it did one absolutely massive move. And if you've been in crypto a while, you will remember Verge as being one of the biggest movers of, of all time across all cryptocurrencies. So that is some of the key stats. Let's jump over to trading view and we'll do a little bit of technical analysis and so look what look what's gone on in the past and see where we could get some good potential areas of investment if we um if we do start to drop again. But let's get cracking into that. So here we have xvg versus tether this is on a monthly time frame i'm using a bitrex chart here no others have the um the tether pair and unfortunately on binance it's only against btc so we will look at btc shortly but first i just want to mark a couple of key areas of support and resistance up on this um on this chart and see what we can get going forward so let's mark some key areas up of support and resistance and so let's get my little tool out and we will mark some up here so i want to start off down at this level and see what it can mark up so if you can see this wick here you can't quite see it because my head's in the way so this wick here we rejected off it back in february 18 um sorry we bounced off it and then we did again there so that's two areas of we had a touch and that confirms that it's a an area a valid area of support and resistance so let's just zoom in a little bit i don't want to go too far back in time and see if we can identify anything else pretty much further down this way as you can see this wick here just above my head we act as support come our way through and it rejects it off that area there so that's two key levels let's see if i can get one more and then we'll drop into a weekly time frame you can see we did go right low down there the chances if you bought there were absolutely incredible and i think we've got a level there as well so that's a couple higher and a couple lower 
we acted as as support there twice so that's two i mean three areas of monthly support so we'll bang it as a monthly change color then i know what's what and just got one more a little bit higher so we've got three levels of monthly and i'll jump into a weekly now and see what we've got there monthly time frame have a zoom in and see if I can identify a couple more. I don't want to go too far back in time, as in, I, I, I do think we're going to be around this level for a while yet, unfortunately. So let's get this tool again and see what we've got around here. So this level here, if you look, it goes all the way through to this wick. Acted as resistance there, come all the way through. And it's been pretty much using this area recently. We've rejected it for area a few times. We'll just change that to a weaker level. I prefer to, when I'm ever buying a crypto, I, I always buy on the weekly and monthly supports um, i don't really go down into a daily time frame because i think it's getting a little bit too narrow then let's just see if i can get one a little bit midway down around here i mean it could save us one there we rejected off the area twice there sorry we bounced up off there so that's another one let's see if we've got any middle i think we've got one there as well if you look at this wick we come our way through pretty much bounce off all them areas there acted as support come all the way through rejected rejected and then support there so that we've got quite a few levels there let's drop into a daily time frame and what i want to do is zoom out a little bit and have a look at march the 13th so that's when bitcoin had a, a quite a significant dump it dumped around 57 percent uh, and ever since then all cryptos have been on um, a good rally really so from what was we down at 0 0.00072 and we've gone all up to and if we just look at that as a, a a price perspective from that bottom wick when we dumped if you manage to scoop some up there across any then i'd <laughs> praise it because i didn't manage to get anything down my levels but look at that rise we've had we've had a 1171 percent price raise from the, the yearly lows up to yearly high so that was quite a significant move we have retraced a bit now and if we just bang the fibonacci on and this will show us which current level we're set at now we're going to take the closed body of that, the beginning of that move, all the way up to that double top that we had. We'll just drag it all the way along. So as you can see, we've done a 61% retracement. And if you watch any of my videos, if I'm looking for an investment, I usually look down towards a 61-8% retracement level to buy in. And we have been hovering around this level for a long time. So for the long term, in my opinion, I think anywhere around these prices now, is a is a great investment opportunity i've just checked the project out again and everything seems to be going well they've got a they have got a solid community virgin um, pretty much a diehard community have been in from the beginning we've got a couple of lads in our telegram group who like um who like virgin i thought this could be quite an helpful video unfortunately sometimes prices do go down and if bitcoin dumps Unfortunately, we'll drag everything down with it. And if it does, we have got a massive monthly uh, support level down here, 0 0.0021. So, I mean, if we do start to come down, look at this for an area to potentially buy in. I don't think we're going to come down here. And we've got another week level down here, which, again, I don't think will be hit again. We've been down to some lows. And, I mean, it it just wicked down. All it did was scoop some orders up. So, chances of you getting... Any orders filled down there will have been very, very high if you if you had some silly ones in down there. Because people do, people put silly orders in and try to catch them, but personally I don't. So that is where we've dropped down to. We've done a 61% retracement and that is where I think is a good potential area to buy. If you are an investor and you like this project, then if a price does start coming down, uh, then just go dollar cost average down. I honestly think that would be the base if we ever did start to move down. I think we've... We've made a good retracement now and the potential to move up is quite high if we just look above and we'll get rid of that fibonacci now because that's a couple of areas where you could buy we'll so look at some targets so obviously the next target for verge is to break this level we need to break this um this level of weekly support and flip that to resistance and then if we do the next target is 0.0076 and then you start moving up and if we just zoom out a little bit i don't know if i put any levels higher than that yeah we've got another solid monthly level up there at around three cents so i mean it's a long long way off but things in crypto move massively like i said at the beginning this coin did a 1.5 million percent price raise over that term of about 13 to 14 months so it can happen again if a project starts um getting some eyes on it then i do think that 
things could start to move again. But we need to start flipping these areas of resistance and turning them to support and, and pushing up. But initial target is this here. I think we need to break that level at um, 0 0.005. So that's that's quite low still. It's not even like about a quarter of a cent or something like that. And, and then flipping around, that would be the obvious next target. There is a couple of daily areas of support and resistance in here, but obviously I, I'm not going to mark them up. So flip those and then potentially buying down it there where I just showed you there. But if we just look at that in a BTC perspective, if you do trade in BTC, personally I don't, BTC, there we go. We'll use a Binance chart as well. So again, you can see that we've had a good move. Uh, and back from, where are we now? If you look at March, May, where's March? We'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take this whole move. We, we've, We've pretty much come our way up to June and then we've come back down. So, I mean, now could be a good area to buy in. If we just bank Fibonacci on from the beginning of that move all up to the top. See where I Whenever you get a double top, it tends to go down. And that's what's happened here. We've done pretty much a full retracement of the entire move. So, I mean, now if you are trading in BTC, then this could be a perfect opportunity to buy. We, we've bounced off 35 sats and we're currently trading at around 39. So, that is low that is a very low um area and there's no point even putting fibonacci on there's no point even trying to aim low in my opinion i don't think we've been down anywhere lower than that before so pretty much we are on the deck and buy that now at f between 35 and 40 sats and just hold all that coin because that will if it takes off we know it absolutely moons and and that's what could happen so i pretty much would say buy here and i'm gonna go into binance now i'm gonna throw a few hundred dollars at this um i, I think as we have on the deck i think it's it's a great investment opportunity to get in now so that is what i think of the btc pair and again i'm going to leave these levels on of um support and resistance if we do flip this level up here uh 0.0079 i will readdress this video and have a look at some higher targets, potentially plot some more weekly levels up here, and that will give us a good area to target. Um, like I say, I do like this project, I like the community, and um, good things can happen. So thanks so much for listening, that will wrap it up for today's video. Please make sure you do like this video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you next time.